what's up my people welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll be talking about how i was able to publish well over 50 publications in peer review journal as an undergraduate so i'll be walking you through how i was able to achieve this but before i get to, into that if you don't know me my name is yusuf adebayo adebisi i trained as a pharmacist at the university of Ibadan, nigeria and I completed my master's in global health science and epidemiology at the University of Oxford. And presently, I'm doing my PhD in epidemiology at the University of Glasgow. So how was I able to achieve this feat? A disclaimer, I was not all out for quantity or to publish quite a lot of publication, but it ended up happening. How was I able to achieve this? I know that as an undergraduate, I want to get involved in research. I need to improve my knowledge and skills. And I will hold any other guy that want to get involved in research. It's not just about having publication. It's about improving your knowledge and skill. It's about learning how to do science. It's about learning how to do research in your field of interest. So I know that I need to. I, I needed to pay the price. I need to learn. I need to build capacity. So what I did is that I started reading books, started watching videos, started attending conferences, just doing taking different online courses and trainings to be able to improve my knowledge and skills in research. So I will urge you as an undergraduate, I want to get involved in research. So it's not really about publication. It's just, it's the first thing that you have to focus on is building your skills. So you know that I don't just always have to read uh, books or read papers online. I need to also start doing things. I need to also start writing. So I decided that, oh, right now I will start submitting abstract to conferences. So I will just do literature review. I will do uh, small papers like I can write maybe narrative review, do some uh, literature review, um, do some small survey, get data, write them up for presentation in the conference. So I just made effort to start writing, to start showing up, to start doing things that will make me express myself through writing. Because the way I normally write back then i can't compare it to the way i write now so i've seen significant growth and that it, it doesn't just happen it took a lot of practice so when it was my second year i know that i need to improve my writing skill before i can get involved in research so i started writing abstract for conferences started uh making effort to just write as much as i can so with time i noticed that i also need to move away from writing abstract in fact during those times i Many of my abstracts were rejected by, by by conferences and some of them were, were accepted even with funding to come and present in conferences. So the whole ISS or the whole idea behind it is that you always need to show, you always need to try as much as you can. And as a new researcher that wants to get involved in research as an undergraduate, you need to pay the price to improve your writing skills, to learn how to write in your feed. Another thing that I did then was to start reading journal articles. I read quite a number of journal articles just to see the way scientists write, just to see the way people paint things down, just to see the way people actually make many out of uh, make arguments in my own area of interest in my field. So you also have to learn this. So you have to read quite a, a lot of papers. So I then I remember in a day I try I should do. Uh, 50 to 10 minutes just to go through papers read one or two papers or go through papers just to see how scientists actually write and how they have give out points how they structure their sentences so you also need to pay close attention to this so after that i started writing commentary started writing opinion articles started writing uh perspective viewpoints for journals if something happened in public health or i see something that interests me in my area of interest i write something on it i get those things submitted to journals so as i was doing that i was getting feedback from journals so i was getting insights from journals some people will reject my paper outrightly so i don't give up so another thing is that it's also very, very important that you have mentors and nowadays we have a lot of people that you don't even need to talk to you can go online see their work and learn from it directly i have quite a number of people like that but i'm also grateful for mentors that i was able to walk to to ask them questions to get insights from 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 them on how i can improve my research speed so you need mentors you need accountability partner you need role models and you can easily get this in this modern world so i started doing that started writing opinion articles started writing commentaries and from there i moved to writing or doing original research and mind you i had my first publication while in 300 level 
So I started doing that continuously, started doing all sorts of things to build my capacity to learn more. I started writing, I did abstract writing, started writing opinion, viewpoints, commentary articles, submitting them to journals, getting rejection, improve, getting feedback, working on those feedback, improving my knowledge and skills. So it took quite a lot of work. So I also moved to doing original research, getting doing survey research, then how to get ethical approval. So it's a lot of work. So I will hold you as on, as an undergraduate. I want to get involved in research. It's not about publication. It's more of you building capacity. And the more you do that, the more this is it's easy for you to do things on your own, to be able to sit down and write on your own. And it makes you become more independent in doing your own research because you've paid the price of learning, of building capacity. It's not about just saying, oh, I want to have my, I want to have publication. And you don't pay, you don't want to pay the price of learning, of building capacity. You need to. So I know that now, okay, I've started writing original research. I've started publishing. I don't even know that the papers are actually piling up. I just don't know that I continue to write commentaries, write opinion articles, write narrative review, write scoping review, get them published in journals and everything is piling up. But my natural intention then was to improve my knowledge and skills because I am, I am passionate about research. I love research and I need to learn. I need to build capacity. So I started doing those things to hard to my knowledge, to hard to my skills. Watch YouTube videos, attend conferences, read books, read research papers from top researchers in my area of interest. So I started doing all these things and they are adding up to me. So people will say, how was I able to achieve this even while still a pharmacy student? And in fact, a fun fact, I finished with the first class from my pharmacy undergraduate degree. I finished with a first class class so that means that if you really want to do anything you can actually do it anything even if you want to learn other things why still a pharmacy student why still a medical student why still an healthcare student why still a student you can learn anything you just need to pay attention strategize on how you are going to achieve this so i know that when we have exam when we have things to do that has to do with the academics i don't have to start doing something on research and learning about research i close that chapter and when we know, I know that I have free time to also learn other things, to also build additional capacity. I went all out to build capacity to learn and improve my knowledge on, on research. So as an undergraduate, you, you can do it. You can improve knowledge and skills as, as an undergraduate in research. And in fact, you can publish papers in peer review journals. So always remember that in this modern world, there are quite a lot of resources that you can leverage to improve your skills, to improve your knowledge. And indeed, I am grateful that I invested time and energy to build my capacity in research while as an undergraduate. So I want to hold you that as an undergraduate, as a student right now, you can get involved in research. It's just about you strategizing, knowing what you want, pay close attention to it, improve your writing skills, learn about general processes, take online courses, do all sorts of things to build your, cap your capacity, attend academic conferences, go to poster sessions, do many things as much as possible so the more you do the more you invest your time and at the same time remember your academics is also very very important so you have to be strategic on how you share your time so i hope with these few points you are able to learn one of two things from my experience on how i was able to publish well over 50 papers in peer review journals it's not about quantity it's about the capacity that i want to build and it ended up yielding many publications as much as what i don't even know that i can achieve so thank you very much for following if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and let's grow this page like subscribe let's grow this channel for more useful insight like this thank you very much